welcome friends welcome to your channel today's video is very important because uh, we are going to discuss six basic but uh, very important and crucial rules about centrifugal pump piping the piping of suction side and piping of discharge side these rules will help you to make decision about suction side and discharge side piping of a centrifugal pump these uh, these six rules talk about what to include and what to exclude on the suction and discharge side of the uh, pump to get a better performance from a centrifugal pump uh, but before we start the video i have one small request for all of you if you are new to my channel please subscribe to this channel also like this video and turn on the notifications by hitting the bell icon your support is very important to me it gives motivation to me, uh, me to make a new useful stuff or useful video like this also at the end of this video, if you have any doubts please free uh, please uh, feel free to ask okay that's it so let's start the video so first rule uh, the first rule is uh, is uh, try to maintain a straight pipe length before the pumping it it means try to maintain the straight uh, piping at in the suction side if you maintain the pipe length straight it will give you benefits like low pressure drop on the suction side a stable and uniform flow profile and it help to avoid turbulence in the suction side a sufficient straight pump help to minimize the turbulence uh, ensuring that the fluid entering the pump is smooth and even if velocity is low turbulence is low and flow entering the pump is smooth and even and there is low pressure drop which help you to avoid uh, the cavities second rule is nothing but suction pipe diameter should be one size larger than the pump suction end so your uh, suction pipe diameter should be one size larger than the pump distance uh, you can check the description box you will get the uh, link uh, which justify this uh, rule so uh, third rule uh, the third rule is about uh, avoiding high velocity try to avoid high velocity uh, in uh, to uh, sorry try to avoid the high velocity suction uh, side of the pipe uh, this rule is very important because uh, low velocity means low turbulence low pressure drop and it helps you to avoid the cavitation fourth rule is nothing but uh, uh, minimize elbow and fitting in suction piping elbow and fittings intro introduce uh, elbow and fittings introduce uh, additional turbulence and pressure losses into the system the goal is to keep the suction piping as straight and simple as possible to ensure a smooth non turbulent flow into the pump this minimize the risk of this minimize the risk of cavitation and improves the efficiency of uh, overall efficiency of the pump fifth rule provide a uh, proper support for piping Fifth rule is about to provide the proper support for piping. Proper support and anchoring of the piping is very important to avoid excessive load on the pump. It helps to avoid the vibrations, wear and damage to the pump and its components. It also helps to maintain the alignment of the pump, reducing the likelihoods of uh, like, likelihood uh, issues during the operation, reducing some uh, issues that might will come uh, during the operation. Uh, the sixth and last one uh, rule is uh, about uh, uh nrv or uh, check valve include uh, discharge check valve or nrv uh, on the discharge side of the pump. the check valve ensure that the pump fluid remains in the system and prevent the uh, backflow safeguard safeguarding the pump and the overall system yeah so that's it these are the six basic but very important or uh, crucial rules about the uh, centrifugal pump suction and discharge side piping I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, it provided uh, some useful or very important information to you about the yeah. centrifugal pump suction and discharge uh, piping. Yeah, so see you again. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.